The third tool provided by Google Documents is a spreadsheet tool. To create one, just go up to Create New, and go down to Spreadsheet, and it looks very much like Numbers or Microsoft Excel, just as you would expect. They automatically freeze your header column for you. So as you typed in, if you're doing an address uh, book, say, you know, first name, last name, uh, address, city, date, zip, type that in. That will automatically stay up as you scroll down. Um, just like Microsoft Excel, you can include formulas. The formulas are a little bit different, uh, uh, managing them and including a little bit different than in um, Microsoft Excel, but uh, not, not terribly so. To turn on the formula bar that you are used to seeing, you go up to View and then say Show Formula Bar, and then you can uh, type in your formula there. To insert a formula, double click on the cell, and then um, here are your, you know, your formula so that you can use just like that. So that's your uh, formulas. Um, you can save or download your spreadsheet when you're finished as um, any of these. Um, Excel, OpenOffice, PDF, and then just a generic CVS or CSV file as well. Sharing is the same as um, all of them. You just go up to the share button in the corner, invite people, and you can add them in to edit as you um, would like. You can set your advanced permissions if you want them to just view, just edit, or uh, other things. Um, you can publish your spreadsheet as a web page. You can you know, give out a link to others. Um, Another neat feature um, up in the top corner here, if other people are editing this spreadsheet, you'll see their names. And as they're changing things, you'll see this um, box. You see my box is blue. Uh, different colored boxes will start moving around the screen and things will start appearing. So you can do some collaborative edi editing, um, which is, uh, can be a really neat thing to do. Just like in Excel, you can add additional sheets if you'd like. You need a whole bunch on there. Um, so this is uh, Google Docs spreadsheet, and um, there's one other really neat feature that I'll address in a separate episode, and that is the forms feature. So make sure you come back for that.